Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel today. We are playing Medieval 2 Total War, carrying on with our Hungarian campaign, of course, where we have completely united all of modern-day Greece. However, the Byzantines, probably their largest army that they have left, is lurking right there. The Prince of the Byzantine Empire, right there. We need to fortify Corinth as much as possible. We've currently got a chapel being built. Not really need for any roads here, but we could try and reinforce some troops over from these two settlements here if we have the time before these guys decide to come and besiege us. Now, over here as well in Asia Minor, we've got Nikea. We've got the king of the Hungarian Empire going around, placing some watchtowers down where he can. We've also got our priests and cardinals doing the Lord's work. Now, in this episode, what are we looking to do? I think probably finish off the byzantines on asia minor we are going to leave them some settlements over here just to act as a potential buffer to the inevitable mongol invasion we've also got the poles coming to say hello and unfortunately our croat axemen cannot go and relieve our troops here and support them that is frustrating can we get any mercenaries before they come and attack us? We can. So in that case, we've got a lot of money. So you know what? I'm not going to be shy on these mercenary counts, you know. Actually, which ones are better? Balkan archers, 2-5, or these? Okay, well, they are, they are incredibly better. So we are going to get rid of you, you, and you. We are going to get you two, and there we go. Can you all merge in there? You can't. Oh, you have good experience, and we do need some... Yes infantry units to guard the gate My Lord. i'm gonna get rid of you two and one more do we get rid of these yes. <sighs> i mean we've got a lot of archers haven't we so yeah we'll get rid of them all of you guys move over you guys make your way down here and you can go and join up into brown now these that should actually force these guys to eat to think twice about what they're doing if they attack this settlement they could actually do a loop and go around here and attack Bran. That would be very detrimental to our war efforts. If they went down here, we could go and chase them down and have a very, very decent battle between these two. This In this valley here, between these two mountains, that could be a good battle to see. Also, they are throwing troops yet again at Budapest. Now, our assassin currently has a mission to eliminate this Polish family member right here. Not feeling confident, to be honest. There's also Sometimes lots of spies outside of Budapest. We've got our spies and assassins inside this settlement here. We're also training some more just to increase our watch over this settlement. Do we need to retrain any more or at least recruit some more? I think potentially. But I think for the time being, we'll keep it as is just whilst we are training some spies and assassins and also already having some troops to retrain afterwards now. The main event. I think over here is where we're going to be concentrating. Let's look at Constantinople for a second. Let's get the... Um, do we need Ballista Towers? I don't think we do at the moment because Nikkei is now going to be the forefront of this campaign. Constantinople is a little bit far back now. So I think at the moment we're going to do the Great Market in Constantinople. We've got a low tax rate. Can we increase that yet? We can't. And that is probably because of the religion. Oh no, Catholic 76%. We'll get the Abbey. Do we get the Abbey or the City Hall? No, let's get the City Hall. I want to try and increase the tax rate here. What is what is actually causing the issue here? What is causing the issue in Constantinople? Public order, unrest. There is a religious unrest, but not that much. Squalor. Can we try and improve squalor? Probably from the brothel or the City Hall. And Abbey. Okay, we're going to go for that infrastructure over the next few turns to try and increase the happiness of our residents in Constantinople. We've got our priests over here doing the Lord's work in Thessalonica. 11% Catholic. There's a lot of work to be done here. Drazo has finally been upgraded into a castle. So with that, we are going to... No. Oh, are, the, are the Venetians going to attack? Who are currently the Venetians allies with? Enemies, the allies with the Sicilians... And we're allies with the Sicilians. Okay, that is a very good look. Very good look. They're enemies with the Venetians and the Milanese. They should be getting... Right, they are going to have their hands full. Absolutely, they're going to have their hands full. We've also got this general down here. Do you know what? He can come here. What we're going to do, we're going to build a port here and try and get this guy shipped over here 
so we can possibly go and attack this guy down here or even join up with the campaign effort over against the Byzantines or maybe even the, the Venetians start over here but we'll have to wait and see let us know what you guys want to see after we finish the Byzantines granted we've got the Poles we have got the Poles however I don't want to advance too far north because of the inevitable Mongol invasion we're just weakening ourselves and I think we've got quite a strong forefront here with these settlements here these could potentially be citadels well Budapest probably not but when we've got Bran and this one up here they could potentially be very, very decent citadels by the time the Mongols come. But yeah, you guys let us know what you'd like to see. Now, not much else we can do, to be honest. Corinth's building. A lot of places are building. Sophia isn't building because... Oh, I thought we were waiting to actually upgrade it. But it looks as though... Actually, what is the percentage? 74 Catholic. Let's get the chapel. Let's try and convert this a little bit more, if we possibly can. We don't have troops tra uh, training anywhere at the moment, but I don't think it's necessary. We've got most of our forces being pushed to the forefront of the war efforts with the Poles and with the Byzantines. I'm just curious to see what the Byzantines do here. I think we've done everything we can for this turn, so ladies and gentlemen. Let's crack on with turn number 57. Okay, a Byzantine general coming up north. We've got the Turks. Offering some diplomacy? What would you like? My Sultan sends me Absolutely. Work for your leader. How about this? How about this? Very well. There we go. You've there beaten us too. You did have a diplomat on Asia Minor going towards the Turks, but it looks as though they've already beaten us. A princess of the Poles. And they've decided against it. They're running away. And they're running away up here as well, actually. That's interesting. Now, the Poles were excommunicated, if I remember correctly. They were. Yep, yeah, they're excommunicated. Excommunicado. So perhaps the other factions are starting to attack them. What is their diplomacy at the moment? Their allies with... Allies with the Holy Roman Empire and the Byzantines, but they are enemies with us. Okay, so the Danes or the Russians have still yet to attack them. Who is my target? Polish assassin, 22%. 10%. That's all I need. No, did not mean to do that. Yes. Ah oh dear, okay, well, this assassin here, you can actually attack one of these. 27, 59, kill him. Yes! This is the assassin, Menha. You are going to be the assassin of assassins. You are... We're still trying to kill you off, to be honest. Can we get any of you guys? Let's just try and get you. Wait. This assassin against all odds... He works better when his percentages are literally single figures. There was a priest over here he killed, which was, what, 6% chance? That one was a 10% chance. And that wasn't even a trait increase for him. It was a trait increase for our actual king. This is incredible. How is this guy pulling it off? I have no idea. I have genuinely no idea. But I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. Who is the assassin, you can, keep, you can come up here and just cause absolute chaos in Krakow. Now... Trade increase there. Assassination mission success we saw before. Papal states relation has worsened. I'm not really sure why. Oh, that would be because we've actually done some form of diplomacy with a Islamic faction. I'm pretty sure it will be. I think that's pretty sure why our relations have faltered with the Pope. But nevertheless, all factions are now at war with each other. Scotland and France. Okay, France and England is expected. Have broken their alliance with Spain and France. Now, weren't they actually vassals? I'm pretty sure the Spanish Empire was a vassal to the French. I'm really interested to see how... Oh, oh, the Danes are here. Let's go and see if we can actually get some map information for these guys. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, are they eyeing us up to an attack? I mean, Vienna doesn't look garrisoned. Okay, that's just made it a little bit more interesting. We've got path blocks all the way around here. We'll get rid of these. That will be the di diplomat. Faction announcements. Let's have a look. A noble life ends. Oh, that was the cardinal. That was the highest ranked across the entire known world. He would have been the next pope. I guarantee it. But unfortunately, his time has come. He goes and joins the one who he was spreading the word about. 
Thank you for your efforts. Now you, Mr. King, can you not put a watchtower here? You can put one there. Let's put one there. That's really not helps. So that'll be because of this mountain range here, won't it? Let's bring you back to the settlement and the next turn we can start spreading some watchtowers around here. It'd be good to get one on the coastline here as well. We could probably get one in range of this Byzantine castle here. Or do we just advance? Ooh, do we just advance, actually? Now, we're retraining the Allen Cavalry. I'm going to get some spear militia because we can get some free upkeep units. And I'm fairly confident we can get four? We can. Oh, we got a princess! My lord. Oh, now, what do we do here? What do we do here with this princess? This is a tricky one, isn't it? We've married off to the Sicilians, who we're allied with. We've also got an indirect alliance with the Venetians because of the alliance we have with Sicily. We don't want an alliance with the Byzantines. We don't want an alliance with the Poles. We need room to expand. Do we? Who are the enemies of Sicilians? Milan, Moors. Could we go for a campaign against the Moors or an Islamic faction? This is interesting. Now, I don't want to waste this princess. We could just go and reinforce our current standings already with the Venetians and the Sicilians. I think we might do that. I might go and use the I princess to go and reinforce. Tomorrow, oh, but we could go for the Venetians. Although, if we go for the Venetians, the Sicilians are going to be angry with us, aren't they? I think we need to reinforce our standing. Continuing tomorrow. With the Venetians, if we can find someone over in the Venetian Empire who is worthy and willing to marry our Your beautiful, Majesty. beautiful princess. I mean, oh my godness. Flawed features, chastity belt, smothering guards. My goodness, delicate blade, faithful servant. She's not great. Irisco, you I may have to be sent to the Covenant. It may just be what God has willed. We just don't know. We're going to try our best, but please, tomorrow, my lord. please, be bear with us. Is there any, any, any generals here? Let's go please and throw you up here. Let's just go and throw you up there. See what we can do. Now, I am sure I will have their full next turn, we're going to send our forces sir. down to take this Byzantine settlement here. And we could actually go for the Cypriot settlement over here, Nicosia. Spy here. You are moving your way over here. We do also have a diplomat, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we have the diplomat there, don't we? Let's go in... S actually, let's keep you in... Actually, no one. No, let's go on. Let's go round. Let's go to the Egyptian city. Let's go and see if we can get some trade rights with them. In the turn report, how are we doing? We're nearly first. The Egyptians are pretty decent. Look at this. We are nearly first for production. So close. So close. But yeah, so far. You're making your way down here. We've got a full garrison of troops in here. How about we get rid of three of them and we replace them with you three. We can then retrain these Croat Axemen in here. Yep. And let's get a road. Let's get a road so we can start ferrying some of these guys across the Empire faster. How about a road in here? We can't get a road. Is that because this one's a citadel? Well, it's a fortress, sorry. And this one's a castle. It is. Okay, let's get some crop rotation done in here. Retrain you guys. Ugh, guys, it's all coming well. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. This is what we love to see. God we do have a priest here, and I'm thinking we'll send it over here. So we need to bring these guys down into Corinth as well to increase Catholicism down here. Now, I am worried about this army here. I don't know what they're doing, but it's, it's, it's frightening. It is frightening. Let's merge some of these guys together. My Lord. There we go. So let's retrain these guys. Hopefully they don't attack sometime soon. Hopefully they don't and we are given time to prepare our troops, retrain our troops and possibly even upgrade this settlement into a fortress. Uh, it already is a fortress. How close are we to a citadel? Oh, we're quite far. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Now again, not much else happening here. And I think the, the main thing we have going for us right now is going... Oh, that settlement is dead. That settlement is... Are you going to board the ships? Are you going to pick up this force? It looks as though they've just put their forces onto a ship there as well. Oh, there's definitely a navy around here. There is 100% a navy around here now. Everybody, besides you, come with me. 
You're going to be unhappy. I know you're going to be unhappy. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm going to leave some cavalry. You guys are currently on normal tax rate. Low tax rate? Okay, that does it. That does it for you. There you go. We're going to build a uh, council chamber or church. Let's go for the council chamber. Yeah, try and improve that law and order. You, come with me. Hang on, we're going to get another spear militia trained in it. Oh, we can't. So annoying. Okay, you come with me. You can put a watchtower right there. That's opened up. And yet, there's a Venetian navy. A Venetian merchant. Is that... No, that's not the faction leader. Well, we're one turn away. How many mercenaries can we get? We could get some more cavalry. I do want infantry, though. We are really lacking in infantry, aren't we? Really lacking in infantry. It's primarily just archers and cavalry. We've got these three at the front here and some of these guys here. Oh, they really do lack in decent infantry, the Hungarians, don't they? They really, really do. Okay. Never mind, we are lacking in funds at the moment. We'll get a ship right here to try and increase some tradable resources. We've got one turn left on... No, we've already trained the port. We'll get a cog there then. And at the same time, I'd much prefer to get the crop rotation here to try and increase public growth in this settlement so we can upgrade it to a fortress just before the Venetians decide to do anything silly against us. A bit of cash left over. I don't think we're going to focus on doing anything else at the moment just to try and keep some of those funds inside of our coffers. Now, we've got an assassin here. 90% on that guy there, 28% there, and 9% there. Now, you are the good assassin. What could you do? 36, 53, and that'll be even lower at 18. 5% on the faction there. What about the Imperial Diplomat there? 77%. I think that's a done deal. The target, please. That's all I need. Death approaching. Aye. Who is my target? The target it comes down please. to you, That's Jacob. All I need. It comes down to you. 41 years old. You continuously have the odds against you. The target, Yet, please. I believe in you. All I need. Okay, he's missed. They shall bother you. I don't get this. Has anybody else, have any of you guys experienced this where you're terrible assassin? With the percentage chances of a mere 10%, 5% here, maybe even 15 at most, Who's still manages to do a better job than any of your other decent assassins. The relations have obviously worsened with the Holy Romans. We did expect that. Hopefully that means they still don't go to war with us. I'm really hoping it. Really hoping so. Cannot afford to have another war on the Western Front. That may... That, although... That could drag the Venetians in to come and help us. We could try and pick off some cities in northern Italy, like this one here, for example, from the Holy Romans. Oh, this is tricky business right here. This is very, very tricky. You get past them. Is that a... That's a Holy Roman. You need to go and talk to the Frenchies. We need to see what the map information is saying. Oh, dear. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Princess making her way over to the Venetians. Try and reinforce our relations with them. Our settlement on the north there. Fully garrisoned. Prepared against any threat of invasion from the Poles. What was that? Was that a diplomat? Somebody died in our settlement. Stopping it's not here, the king because the king's part of our forces. Marching on to... Suitable Prince Magdolna. Where is Magdolna? Oh, can I minimise that a second? New mission. Yeah. Your heir must join the crusade. This is a crusade. Target to lose. No. There is absolutely no reason for us to go there. There is no reason for us to go there at all. I mean, it's a decent settlement. Is it a fortress? It is a fortress. Ah, oh, right, hang on a second. I need to look at our family tree. Nope. Here, yeah, right. Where? Eight, eight. You're not princess. Where? You're married. You're not married. It wasn't you they were talking about, though, was it? It's not you. It's you. Where are you? Oh, I forgot you were up here. Okay, you know what? 
I'm going to marry you off. I'm going to marry you off. I don't think there's anybody up there that you can actually marry off. We tried with the Danes. We tried with the Scots. Well, we've not tried with the Scots, but there was only a single settlement there. Getting you over here is going to be very troublesome. And I'm also thinking as well, if we do manage to get an offer for our other princess here, we're probably going to have to take it. Cardinal promoted. Congratulations. Hostility ceased with the Scottish and the French. Oh, God. Traits increase new mission. Your reputation with the Pope will suffer significantly. Most advanced faction is, of course, us. Crusade the Holy Bible has been may preach peace, but when it is christened... Crusade. Ooh. That was theirs. Okay, that was theirs that died. Right, you have decided to blockade the king of the Hungarian Empire. This is a very poor judge. This is... You know what? We're going to automatically resolve this. You didn't manage to actually kill them. That's really frustrating. Can you yes, attack? Lord. You can. Confronting the enemy. And I think what we're going to do here is... The enemy lies defeated. We we're going to maintain the siege for a second. Yes. We've got nine turns. How many turns can this hold out for? Nine. Ooh. I mean, they may attack. I'd much prefer Order them to attack us. Because attacking with the amount of archers and stuff we've got is not wise. It is not wise at all. And even with the cavalry. Sire. It's not wise. Very good but we've got no other, other option. No further today, we could take some spear militia with us, but orders, no. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. End of turn report. We're number one for production. We finally made the top one. Finally made it. Come on. We've got a boat. You jump on there. You jump off. You can actually come up and join up in Thessalonica because there's no, settle there's no person in there. You can now disband. Actually, um, yeah, let's just ban. I was thinking we could possibly use it as a bit of a scouting party, but I think for the time being, we won't do it. So, the Pope has called for it's time for the Righteous Steel of Arms. Does that. Oh, your heir must join the Crusade. Oh, okay. And we need to assassinate that guy as well, still. Five percent. I've had worse, and you just target, missed. Please, and you've just missed. Death let's keep you there. Let's bring you back there, and then we can target you yet Who's again. Now, where is up? our air? The target, please. That's all I need. Where he is the this air? Upon himself. Here. Where are you? Where can we find you? Oh, you're literally right there. Oh, well, in that case, you can join up there. And what we can do here is we can bring you guys out and. We can take some of you guys with us. Are you guys going to be happy? Ah. You can go in there, and then what we'll do here is we'll get some mercenaries there. I think the upkeep for these guys is going to be we're going to be losing a lot of cash next turn, but it's okay. It's okay, I think. I think. Fingers crossed. It's going to be okay. Let's find out. Now, map information for map information. Oui. Why not? Oui. Adieu, senor. Okay. Oh, it looks like the French have lost a couple of settlements to the English. It looks like they have lost a couple on the uh, northern coast. If we can see on the mini-map there. Holy Romans offering diplomacy with the Poles. They could be ganging up against us. Ah, 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 ah hang on a second. The army's moved. The army has moved. And that is good. A suitable prince. Oh, do we take it? Do we take it? I think we're going to have to. The chance of her getting married is going to be near impossible. We have three generals up here now, so I think we can start moving some of these guys around. Especially down to these settlements down here. Now, I'm going to keep... Okay, these are actually quite young, so let's bring... You're the governor of the settlement, so we'll bring you, and we'll bring you down towards Sophia. Now, you can jump in there. Congratulations, you are now the governor. You can now... I believe join the crusade the crusade for the roman empire spain and scotland i mean how well fortified is that it's not it's gonna it's gonna fall it's gonna fall yep congratulations there is skill your looks have proven not to be that bad as somebody has thrown their hand towards marriage for you trait decrease feels appreciated cardinal has been promoted at sicily diplomatic infant oh my goodness following factions are at war 
as I expected. The Fallen have broken their alliance. Spain and Portugal have broken their alliance. That's not good. Following factions have declared that they are allies, France and Denmark. Following factions have declared a truce. That's that. That one right there is not good at all. That one against France is bad because that means the French and the Danes are going to be targeting other settlements. Although maybe the Danes will now be going against the Holy Romans. Ah. Well, the French are going to be against the, against the Holy Romans at the moment. Maybe that's why they've declared a truce. I don't want the Holy Romans going against us. Enemies with Denmark, Milan, and France. I mean, the Danes... Okay, yeah, so the Danes are attacking them. Okay. Construction reports, faction announcements. New family member, congratulations on the child most defense faction is Egypt. Now, what I'm going to do here is I think... How can we join the crusade? Let's do it. I mean, there's no hostilities, I know, but if we don't join, if we don't join, the Pope is going to be very unhappy with us. And I think now what we can do is just yeah. make our way over towards the target settlement. How many turns is that going to be? Oh, we can't move. Oh, because we're blocked there, aren't we? That's annoying. Yeah, Hungary and France, congratulations, you are now at war. I think all of I'm just thinking I'm not getting any more troops because I'm pretty sure by the time we get there it's going to be taken. So we can kind of disband this army here and just make our way back towards these. We could have probably ignored getting these mercenaries and just got some merc uh, some um, crusader mercenaries because they would have disbanded as well after the crusade. But it's okay, we can use those forces elsewhere in the empire because I'm pretty sure we're going to have lots of wars to deal with and we're going to need lots and lots of troops. Now, Council Chambers, City Watch, the list of makeup. There's not much else we need here. So I'm just going to go for the crop rotation because you guys are happy and you are building. Building, you're not building, but I don't think we need to build anything here. Budapest, you were recently upgraded. So how about we'll get a market in here? Get a market in there. Constantinople, you have now upgraded your... Uh, your it was the Council Chambers, wasn't it? Which we can just about get away with having a normal tax rate. So let's go for the brothel as well. Hopefully that increases their happiness and yes, Lord. we're just going to keep besieging this settlement. Hopefully we can get some more attrition. And what I'm thinking now is they're going to be in the settlement. These guys, however, are not. We could face off most of their forces over there with just a solid positioning of our army. Yes. Okay, we could actually win this. We could actually do this. Now, where did that large force go? Fairly confident they've just swam away or boarded a ship. Hmm. Get some crop rotation here. We're going to try and increase the rate of growth in Durazzo. And we are completely out of funds. What I would like to do up here, however, is go yes. and get some diplomacy with the Spaniards, maybe? We've not actually had any diplomacy yes, with the Spaniards in a while. Speak with their English diplomat. Whilst yes, we're here, we'll go for the I English first, and then we'll go for the Spanish. Try and get some Tomorrow's map information, see awaits. if there's any hostilities up north on the British Isles, perhaps with the Scots and the English, but we'll find out next turn. Did we get him? Did we whack him? Don't think we did. I don't think we did. And a boon for builders. No, nope. let's go and have a look. Who is my target? Wait, what? No, we didn't get him. I was like, he wasn't there. I didn't see him. 5%. Let's watch this. Five percent chance. He always misses, but he always manages to evade capture. It's incredible. It's incredible his way of working. I don't know how he does it. But now that I'm thinking about it, where are these guys heading off to? How many turns for you to actually get towards Bram? Are you going to Bram? Or are you going? No, you're not going to do something stupid, are you? I mean, how many turns for you guys to get down towards Bram? Two turns. How many turns for you? Okay, if you move any more 
This way, we're going to have to reinforce Bran with some troops over here. So, enough fun with the assassin for now, and let's just keep an eye on that. Faction at the Crusade grows. Hungary has joined. Congratulations to the faction heir joining the Crusade, doing God's work at the hands of the Pope. So, Venetian forces here, some mailed knights. They're not bad, you know. Do we get some Crusader sergeants? I mean, if we, if we manage to get all the way over here without anybody else taking it first, let me know what you guys would like to see. Do we take this settlement or do we not? And if we do take it, where do we expand our empire from over here? We'll basically have two empires. And we're going to have to merge them up at some point. And by that, I'm thinking eastwards, but that is going to be incredibly difficult. So perhaps we could advance westward, make an ally. Actually, no, because taking Toulouse, I don't think the Frenchies are going to be happy with that, are they? We're going to be surrounded on all fronts with so many enemies. Toulouse is definitely going to fall, or unless we just keep it as a, as a very, very, very solid defensive structure. And just hold. Although I am tempted to expand into Spain. But that is going to be a very long campaign with all of the enemies to our back as well. Hopefully we can try and broker some sort of an alliance with the English. Let us know what you guys would like to see though, because this could be very, very interesting if we manage to get here before anybody else. Diplomatic inflammation, the following steps from client kingdoms. The Moors and the Spanish, the Moors have given in. Wait, was it the Moors? Spain, yeah, the Spanish won. Wow. Did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. Eight more turns left on this settlement here. Or do we just go in and attack now? I think we're going to hold off. I think we're going to hold off for a second. God Let's come over here. You are currently still converting this area. You can therefore have a church. Have a church in there. Try and convert you guys a little bit faster. Now, I am... I have noted the fact that we've had very, very... Very, very little battles in this episode. Pretty much zero. It is zero battles. But I... And I'm trying to get battles, but it looks as though the poles aren't moving, so there's going to be no battle there. I don't want to just lunge out just for the sake of getting a battle. I know it's quite mundane watching this. So please, guys, bear with us. And if you are enjoying it, please always remember to like and even comment and let us know because commenting and letting us know and also the likes, it shows that you're enjoying the content. So please, it means it means a lot. It really does. Now, again, not much else we can do here. There's not much else all going on up here as well. We do have our diplomat up here. I've completely forgot about this guy. How old are you? 43. You're getting on a bit, aren't you? Although looking at this, this is rebel territory. I can see the Russians up here. I can just see a slimmer of Russian territory up here. So we're going to bring you over here instead. Now, hopefully, the Russians aren't expanding as, as fast as I'd like them to. That's not good. That is not good at all. I wanted them to try and get a very strong defensive position up here. A very structured position. So that when the Mongols do come, they can put up a good fight against them. Oh, a fortress there. That could offer a good strong point. Although, that is literally on par with our set. We could do with... A no, watchtowers are fine there. Watchtowers are fine. We could do with another general over here, couldn't we? Okay, well, let's just end the turn again. You can go into Bran. We'll probably move you over again towards Constantinople. What We're going to open diplomacy with the Brits. How about this? That's generous. What about an alliance? An alliance is demanding. I do not believe I'm able to accept this. Um, how about this? No, we cannot agree to this now. I mean, you're going to give us money. It okay, was a fair sure. deal, yes. Well, that's interesting fruitful. way of Farewell. opening terms and diplomacy, but we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take them. Now, hang on a second. I've just realised if they offload the army. Oh no, God! If they, if that bride has been presented to Banyos, a young woman of fitting breeding and station has been discovered as a potential partner for this man. Sure, why not? Congratulations. The crusade grows. England has joined the crusade. Now, where is that bloody army? It's there. Gone? Look at it. We need to take this battle right now. Yes. We cannot wait any longer. Yes, Lord. 
Confronting the enemy. This is going to be a lot closer. We basically have exactly the same men. However, this is what I'm worried about. We need to face up. Now, looking at the map, where we start, they are to the left of where we have started this siege. This is going to be a very interesting battle. What are we looking at? Oh, this guy looks okay. He's 64 years old, though. He's getting on a bit. Sadly ignorant, tolerant of foreigners, mostly rational. A lot of traits there. What about his other general here? Oh, this guy seems more of a commander, to be honest. Those traits seemed more of a commander. And then there we have the reinforced troops there. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Pitiful weather. Absolutely pitiful weather here. Now, if my calculations are correct and my mathematics are precise, Byzantine reinforcements should be coming in on this side, so I'm going to bring everyone over here. Oh, not on that formation, though. My goodness. Let's bring you there. I want you, 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 and you to dismount the siege equipment. We really, really lack infantry here, don't we? I'm hoping what we can do here is we can spread a thin line of archers, uh, of infantry at the front. Archers as well can come in behind and rain hellfire from above, and then our cavalry can come in from the side and finish them off. I'm really hoping that they are over here. I'm really hoping that they are. If we can finish off these guys, that's it. It's game set and match for the guys inside the settlement. And the enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in skill. Guys, if you want to call me a genius, you can do. Just, just type it in the comments. Type it in the comments. I want to see. I want to see it. This is going to be such. Oh, this is going to be such a sweet, sweet victory. I'm loving it. Okay, you guys. We've got the hill advantage as well, and they've got some units there as well. Let's bring these guys up slightly. I'm going to turn them on the side there. And then you guys. We could possibly use some cavalry on that front, actually. I didn't actually think about that. Although it's fine, because we've got our general unit. Bring you guys. Actually, I'm going to bring you guys closer in just to protect our flanks there. There we go. You guys can go like that. I want everybody running. Everybody running. Our general can move over here. You can go there. Now, how is our cavalry doing over here? That's a lot of cavalry. That is a lot of cavalry. Let's bring these guys closer up. We're going to let them walk, though. We're going to let them walk. Now, we want all of our archers not on skirmish mode. Let's turn skirmish off. Oh, no. Skirmish mode is off. Okay, that's good. You guys are in your wall. Don't want you in your wall right now. Run. 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 Thank you very much. How far is this? Oh, they're really there. Quite far over there, you know. And now what I want you to do is... Form your wall. Cavalry. Charge it over here. I want you guys to turn this way. You guys. I want you guys to turn in just there like that as well. I want everybody running. Everybody running. You guys, run. Cavalry. You are running. Are you chasing these guys down? You are chasing these guys down. We've inflicted a few casualties. Are they turning to face? They are horse archers as well. We're going to get these guys on spread formation just so they don't inflict any casualties on our general. It does look as though they are coming towards our general, though. We'll bring our general slightly back, I think. Our cavalry is engaged with their horse archers. They stand no chance. Literally no chance. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like ah, this, ah, we will ah, smash ah, the enemy. What are you guys doing? We've got the height advantage as well here. We've actually got the height advantage. You guys are sat back slightly. I'm not really sure why. You guys have just ran straight into our infantry. Why have you guys just ran straight into our infantry? You guys can come back over onto this hill here. Peasants? Oh, that's a weak flank there. That is a weak flank. We need to we need to advance. We need to we need to do the oh, we need to go in straight in. We need to be on the offensive here. They're trying to get back and trying to get inside the settlement. We cannot allow that. We cannot allow that. Although, looking at this, 
Wait a second. Why are you guys running? Well, you guys are on skirmish mode. There we go. You, you, you. You guys, come here. Come here. You guys. You're fine. You're fine. Come here. You guys come over here. And the cavalry Our over here the if we can go down here. Like this, we will smash the go enemy. there. And then attack straight into those Cumin archers. What's coming through? Spear militia, town militia. Spearmen is all the spearmen. We can't afford to attack the spearmen, unfortunately. These peasants have broken, though. You guys actually attack these. Attack all of these, actually. You guys attack them. You guys attack them. Let's try and get as many of these guys as we possibly can. And even if our cavalry needs to run into these guys, then so be it. Yep. Our cavalry needs to run into these guys. These guys are fighting to the death. We've basically, we've basically won this already. 23, nearly a quarter of their entire force has been wiped just from this. Cavalry. Archers. All of the archers right now, I want you guys attacking them. You guys, attack these. Attack the peasants. You guys are attacking spearmen. I know that seems quite stupid. I know it seems quite stupid. But we really, really need to inflict as many casualties as we can on these guys right now. We'll have one of these units cleaning up the routers at the back. There we go. The rest of you guys, get in there. Deal some decent damage, please. Let's bring our general up here. Let's bring our general up. You guys attack them. Let's get the general up. Come on. How are we doing up here with these horse archers? We're doing okay. You guys, I want all of you guys on spread formation, please. General is making his way up. General is waking his way up. Against Byzantine Spearman, though. I mean, again, it's not great. This isn't great. I know it's not. But we need to deal with these guys, because these guys are going to be a pain in the backside if we don't deal with them right now. That's it. That's it. Get stuck in there. Get stuck in there. Now, we're going to have the towers against us right now. And all of you guys, attacking them. The General... Attack them. There we go. We stopped them. We stopped them. We stopped them. Let's sound the horn. Sound the horn. You guys are attacking. I know it's against Spearman. I know it's against Spearman. That's it. Get in there. Get stuck in there. Get stuck in there. The king's not going to die. The king isn't going to die today. I know he's not. I know he's not. Come on. Come on. Our archers are still doing their job. Our cavalry's just kind of stood there not doing anything, which is kind of frustrating, to be honest. You can see them there. They're not actually attacking anyone. They just stood there derping out. That's annoying. A lot of people are now getting away. A full compliment. The enemy well, are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Isn't he in Spearman? Uh, yeah, basically a full unit of Spearman here. The king, just get back. Just get back. The cavalry has failed you. Cavalry has failed you, unfortunately. And I'm looking here. We're not going to be able to besiege the settlement on this front. We're going to have to go back over to where we started originally and deploy our siege engines over there. Well, looking at the minimap, it kind of just seems that these guys are not willing to put up a fight on their first layer of fortifications. They have literally retreated back to the city walls, uh, to the city rally point, right behind the second layer of defences, so we're just going to have to march up towards them, I guess. And just as I say that, they have decided to now come and garrison the bloody walls. Now is the time for brave hearts. Yeah, brave hearts indeed, we're going to need them. Ooh, right, you guys come up over here. You guys... Leave that siege engine and come back. Come back. Let's get all of our archers up front. If we can try and lay some covering fire down for the siege tower. Although these guys are going to get picked off. Town militia there. Spim Hang on a second. Archers? No, there's no archers. Okay, you mount that. You, you, you and you. Dismount that. Everybody else. Just come inside. If it's just spear militia, let us see what the issue is. if the towers are just going to attack us, then if we can just push past them, 
As long as there's no archers, which it doesn't seem to be any archers. They are taking a bit of a pummeling, though. That's not good. The cavalry is steaming in right now. And there we go, we're inside. Everybody attack the spear the militia. Walls belong to us now. Attack the spear militia. Not you, because you will break. You, however, can do. No, not you, cavalry. Look, I know you're eager. I know you're eager. You can attack them. And now what I want to do is... Where are you guys? You guys come on here. They're going to break immediately. Yep, they have broken. They have broken. These guys are going to come down now off the walls. I'm pretty sure of it. These guys aren't, however, which is... Um, yeah, it's interesting. The general's in. The king of the Byzantine Empire the is, is in. Very much in our favor. Let me get them. Actually, hang on. Where do we need to go? Oh, we need to go all the way. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on a second. There's only one layer of wall. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? There's only one layer. I thought they were inside this one here. But it appears not. Guys, I want you to go straight for these. Cavalry, however, I want you guys not to go straight for that. I know you are excited, like we keep saying. You can come off of that. Where's the general? The general's there. What are you guys going against? Town militia, right? We need these guys to be attacking these. You guys can hold the fort against these guys. You can attack them. Spear militia. Who else is coming in here? You guys attack them. To your heart's content. Cavalry? What are you dealing with there? Spear militia. If we can get them off the walls, actually. Yep, there we go. The ballista towers are now inactive against our troops you guys can come in and attack these guys as well our archers are now up against these spear militias which probably isn't the best for our archers to be honest however the winded are winded however they're shaken you guys attack them they've broken i think they're just being completely overwhelmed right now what are you attacking where even are you my goodness, what are you doing? Hello? Light cavalry? You guys should have them. Where's the other cavalry? Oh, they're there. Okay. Well, you guys can all go back and attack them. How will we be doing with actually reaching up our target over here? We're getting there. Oh, if we could just get our archers to lay some fire down. That is going to inflict so many casualties. I think we just need to mop up here as fast as possible. They're wavering. You guys could probably do with actually leaving these to be honest. These are now fighting to the death. Cavalry is there. They're still stampeding through over here to go and deal, out, deal damage to these Alan Light cavalry. Although, how many units are there? 53. I think they're now deciding to run to the rally point. Which is a... No, no they are not. They are now deciding to fight. You guys are still wavering and still taking a bit of a beating. How about this? You guys just make your way through here. Make your way through if you don't mind. You guys need to chase these guys down. Oh, they're Balkan archers. Oh, 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 hang on a second. No, you guys just come back. You guys just come back here. Our Croat Axemen have decided to abandon ship. All is lost for the Croat Axemen. You guys, you're taking some casualties. That is what I love to see. Now, you guys all need to turn around and attack these. You guys come down here and attack these. They're shaking. They were wavering. But it seems that they have regained some confidence. And they've broken. There we go. You guys have decided to now learn how to use a gatehouse. Don't know why you were stuck outside for so long. <laughs> Very strange of them to do that. Now, these guys have broken. So if we can all just follow these guys. Uh, where's the general? The enemy are badly the general bloodied. No, they have no, lost no. half go their men. Go back over here. Go back over here. The king of the Hungarian Empire is very eager to get this battle over and done with. However, on my watch, it's not going to end just right now, especially where it, it turns out these Balkan archers have yet to fully understand how gatehouses work. It's taking a slight detour in there before continuing on their path towards the centre of the settlement. And so, here we are. Now, you, 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 you and you, come with me. I need to get you guys down here. You guys go there. Human horse archers. What are you guys doing? You guys there. You guys can go there. You guys can fill in just behind them, I think. There you go. 
You can go there, though. You can go here. Yes, you can. And then these guys can come in just as a reserve force, just in case we need them. All of you guys, please run. Oh, what we'll do is stick these halberd guys right in front of these. Oh, please let me do that. Please let us do that. Come on. Oh, why can't we do the special ability? Oh, hang on. Oh, it's because they're in the spread formation. There we go. If we can sit them right there. Oh, that is going to be perfect. They're going to be exhausted, though. Let's get everybody to walk. And we'll just take our time. There's no rush here. There's absolutely no rush. You guys can fill in just here as well. Oh, no, 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 no. They've just pulled in. They've just pulled in the infantry. And our spearmen aren't there. I need the spearmen to get there. I just need the spearmen to get there. We've also had some runners. You guys need to turn off your... I don't know why some are and some aren't on skirmish mode. Really annoying. You're in position. You're not in position. You can come back there as well. Are you guys just staying there? You are. You're just staying there. Okay. Okay. You guys are in position. You guys are making your way around. You are very tired though. And I appreciate the efforts you have forced. Ah, 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 what's this, what's this, what's this? Oh, it's just one cavalry art. Archer, and they've just broken. But the sheer sight of our guys facing the wrong way. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, dear. You guys, just fill in there, please. Fill in there. Where are our halberd going? You guys can just fill in just there. Just like that. There we go. Okay. How close are you? Let's speed things up a little bit. They're wearing a lot of equipment. We've got to give them the benefit of the doubt. As soon as they get in position, hundreds of archers are going to be given a fire at will command. Are we ready? All of the archers are exhausted. And enable the spear wall. And now, archers... If you don't mind, if we could just perhaps maybe fire at will. Every single one of them have got fire at will orders. Even these can reach. And now all we do is just sit and wait. And we just pick off these guys little by little. It looks as though the cavalry's coming in. The general's bodyguard's coming in. The general's bodyguard's coming in. Where are our other infantry units? They're right at the back. We need to get these guys up here. Because I feel as though these guys are going to break. Because they are very tired. However, they have literally just run into a spear wall. However, we can't see it. Yes, we can. There we go. Look at that. No, bloody tree. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. They're really struggling right now. They're really struggling. This is perfect. This is perfect. They've got absolutely nowhere to go. They're just running. Look at them. They're taking an absolute beating. They could go all the way around, but they've decided not to. There's a free passage here behind our line of infantry and archers, but no, they want to do the harder. The general's on the front. The general is literally on the front. They've yet... Oh, we're taking some casualties from our own guys, though. We are taking some casualties from our own guys. Perhaps we could target fire another unit. Or perhaps... Actually, no, we're not. You know what? Archers, turn off fire at will. You guys stop for a second. I want you guys to advance on these guys. I want you to attack. Attack. You guys come around and attack these guys. You guys come around and attack these guys. You may lose some. But I'm willing to take that risk. I'm willing to take that risk. I'm still willing to take that risk. I may not be willing to take that risk. If you can just get the general. If you can just get the general. If you can just get the general. They're shaken. Where is our king of the Hungarian Empire? You need to come here. You need to come here right now. 50. You guys need to run through. You guys need to run through. You need to run through right now. There we go. Just overwhelm them. Just overwhelm them with the surrounding. They've lost one to our 40. 50. There we go. There we go. Now get the king in there. The king is going to come in. The king is going to come in, guys. Do not fear. Because the king is here. If we 
continue like this, we I'm losing a lot. The enemy. And the enemy general has fallen. One of two. Where is the other? He's literally sat there waiting. He is waiting. How long is it going to be before these guys decide to break and run? They're slowly falling at the hands of our spears. Where is our king? Is our king safe behind the lines of his colleagues? Or is he on the front? I can't see him at the front there. Oh, he's... Yeah, okay, right. He's, he's definitely safe. <laughs> he's definitely safe. It does, he does look a bit bloody, however. He does look a little bit bloody. Well, these guys are basically done for now. Let's be honest right now. These guys are completely done for. So we're going to speed this up. We're going to speed it up. Get through these cavalry right now. I think they're going to break in a second. Yep, they're going to break. So what we're going to do here is turn this speed down. Actually, now turn up a slight. And surround it. They're not going to break. They're fighting right down to the last man. There we go. Right, you guys stop. Everybody stop, 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 stop. You guys come back. You guys come back. You're firing. I thought I turned fire at Willoff. I thought I turned fire at Willoff. Now you guys come here. Okay, you're really lacking in numbers now. I'm very sorry. You guys also go like that. The cavalry actually can probably make their way down here. And now the archers can probably start filling up behind these guys. You guys have most numbers and also most ammunition. So you guys can go just there. You guys can fill in just behind them. You guys can now then fill up just behind them. And what we're going to do now is possibly try and snipe off the other general. Because once we've done that, I should know we need to get the spearmen. We need to get the spearmen. This is still a very close battle. You don't realise it because even though we have a lot of numbers here, it's all archers. It's all archers and it's primarily spearmen here that we need to deal with. And throwing our cavalry, well, it's basically just the king. This is going to be, and I mean, with the Byzantine force coming in, we may need to retreat after taking out this Byzantine force, which leaves us completely exposed to our territory, our other territory on Asia Minor being Nicaea. Now, archers are now in position. And that means we can now enable fire at will. Now, who are they going to go for? Let's have a look at it from their perspective. Not many casualties. Oh, there we go. We can see the arrows coming down. And now the spearmen have been engaged. Oh, both of the spearmen. Are they actually going to take the... the, the are they going to take the... Are they going to take it? Are they going to take the bait? It looks as though they are taking the bait. They're wavering already. Hang on, they're shaking. Oh! A good volley of arrows there, we can see. They're taking some casualties and they're running straight into our wall of spears here. Brace. There we go. Straight in. Arrows still flying over and they've broken already. They've broken already. Oh, we can see that spearman right there taking out that spearman of the Byzantines. What a move. And now with these guys running back, oh, they've decided to come back for a round two. They had at least 20 troops there getting taken out by our infantry and archers alike. Arrows still raining from above. And this is what we need. We need them to take out the spearmen. The spearmen is what are going to be the issue for us right now. There we go. Arrows raining from above. I've the wavering. Our guys are exhausted, but still eager to win this battle. We've got one casualty with our spearmen. I think they've just broken our again. Yeah, the battle. they've just if broken yet like again. This, we will smash the enemy. 84, come on, get a couple more volleys on them. Get a couple more volleys on them. That's it. That is what we need to see. Now, the town militia have decided to come and have a go at us. Don't go too far forward. Maintain your line. Guys, maintain your line. Do not break your line. Let the archers do most of the work and you just hold. You guys just hold. Archers are still firing. We have quite a bit of ammunition left. We should be able to inflict some more casualties. Town militia at 27 units. Our Halberd militia are just picking them off left. Look at the look at the colours on the floor here. Just purple all around here. It is just purple, and that is what we'd love to see. 
on the floor. Come on, guys, that's it. Have they broken again? They've broken. They've broken, and now it is the Byzantine Spearman's turn to come in. I think this might actually be another unit of Spearmen. Come on, guys. You've got this. You have this. Oh, another Spearman of ours goes down there. I mean, they're lot that Hang on. They've turned round. They've turned round. Why have they turned round? No, we need our guys to go up and attack. We need our guys to go up and attack. Please, come and help these guys. They've turned round. They've lost all sense of direction. They're just fighting. They are fighting and trying their hardest to last. They're shaken. This may be the end for our Halberd militia. Have they reformed? Have they regathered at the support of our men? Perhaps they have. No, I don't think they have. We can see the last of those Halberd militia stood on the left flank over here. And it looks as though they are not fighting. It looks as though they are not fighting. We need to advance. We need to advance. You guys, sound the horn. Sound the horn. They're wavering. Okay, we might actually be able to... I mean, this is literally... Oh, they've still got so many cavalry units over here, haven't they? The general's bodyguard. This may be... This is going to be a very, very close battle. Very close battle indeed. One of our units is fleeing. The Slav levies have given up. But our Halberd militia have not. They are fighting right down to the last man. Even taking out the last of the General's bodyguard. We need to take out the Spearmen though. We need to get rid of the Spearmen. Archers are running low on ammunition right now. We've got one unit of Halberd militia left. And he stands very proud, very confident at the front there. Look at that. The Slav levies filling in just behind him. Look at this formation, guys. They are, you, they are just filling in behind this guy. They have utmost faith in him. But we do need to get you into a better formation right now. And there we go. They are now in position. Halberd militia. That's it. Make your way over there, please. 56 Vulcan archers. Just under half ammunition left. And these Byzantine spearmen just will not stop. They will not stop. And there's even more spear militia over on the rally point, the town centre over here. Some Byzantine spearmen there. Some spear militia and some town militia. And with a complete unit of the General's bodyguard, the main commander of these forces right now. Can we get through these Byzantine spearmen? With just our archers, it seems. Because that is all we basically have left right now. And so, in good fashion, I have retired the Halberd Militia. I have retired him. He can go back. He has been fighting right to the last man, quite literally. The Slav mercenaries are going to have to carry us forward right now. You guys need to start picking off the Spear Militia that have too many units left in their complement. 33, go for the Byzantine Spearmen there. They are slightly better than their other counterparts. There we go. We are inflicting some heavy casualties right now wavering we can see some units running back come on come on we've got plenty of ammunition right now to pick off the rest of these guys aim true please this wall of spears needs to go down we're out our ammunition has ceased and now what we are left with is a handful of of slab mercenaries and a bunch of archers that are now all very tired exhausted we've got a very fresh general we just need to march these guys in everybody charge actually don't run don't run don't run you're all look at this they're all exhausted the cavalry actually can charge you guys can run Come on, guys. Finish them off. This has been one hell of a battle. And it's only going to get worse for us, even if we do manage to capture it, because that massive, massive Byzantine force is going to... It's going to beach onto the shores of this settlement. And I'm pretty sure they're going to try and recapture it. And with what we've got left here, there, I'm pretty sure they're going to capture it. Our 
men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the 14, enemy. 14, 13 Byzantine spearmen. Unit routes. Unit routes. Hulk and archers, 55. Here we go. Let's get everybody. We need to get everybody up. They're all just stood there. They're all just stood there. The cavalry made it. What are the cavalry fighting right now? Why does it say they're fighting? Are they fighting each other? It says all of them are fighting. No, I don't like this. You guys push through. Push through. You guys can keep attacking these. But everybody else. Besides the general as well. Just keep pushing through. Try and overwhelm them. Two units left of them. Six units left on them. The other spear militia has been pulled in. The other spear militia has been pulled in. Attack them. Attack them. Excellent. Our men have taken control of the castle. We've taken control of the timer. But how? I don't understand how. That doesn't make any sense to me. General, make your way up. The king can come and capture the rally points as well. The cavalry has made their entrance onto the scene. We have so many units right now. All of you guys need to push through and attack the general. Besides our king, of course, you can come and sit over here. Look at this. Hundreds and hundreds of troops marching to surround their general. The last unit that stands between us and this settlement. And now, surround him. General, come up this side, please. Come up this side, make your way to the back, and charge in straight from the back. You guys can fight the Byzantine Spearmen. Everybody else, attack. General, make your way up here. Make your way up here. How many's left? 60, 38. I mean, we've got the timer on our side. We have the timer on our side. Do we risk losing the king? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Because the king, he's losing some troops. He is definitely losing some troops here. Let's just bring him back down here. Let's sound the horn. Everybody else is still steady. My lord, only half of our force remains. Oh, we've got the commander of the second reinforcements. We've got that commander. I'm surprised we didn't manage to get him when we pinted them outside of these settlement walls. The general looks on at his troops, fighting right down to their last breath. They are all extremely extremely fatigued exhausted and where's the king well where's the commander where is the general where is he is he sat back or is he fighting on the front line he's there he's literally right in the front and he's looking bloody can we get him within the minute can we get him within the minute and speed things up can we actually get him it looks as though he's going to get away with this let's try and push this guy forward let's try and push these guys forward come on get in there get stuck in there there we go, fight them. You guys get stuck in there as well. 30 seconds left. He's right there. He's right there. Just surround him. Surround him. Come on. Poke him. Poke him. That's it. Poke him. Good. Good. He's, he's really getting stuck in there, isn't he? 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Come on. Come on. 5 seconds. Do we continue? We're going to have to continue, aren't we? We've won already. But we're going to have to continue. We need to see the end of this general. We're going to lose some more units, but I don't care. Let's get our king in there. Let's get our king in. Let's get the king in. What other units are left? No, it's that's it. It's just these guys. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Uh, 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 not on our watch. Not on our watch. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. There we go. Get stuck in there. Oh, they're all wavering. They're all wavering. That's not good. <laughs> I did not expect that. I did not expect that. 16 units against 55. Come on, King. Show them how it's done. We should have just taken the victory whilst we had it, didn't we? Shouldn't we? If we get the general, that's going to be it. Come on. 14 units versus 55. 54. Come on. All of our units have retreated. Broken. Not many men are going to live to tell the tales to their family of this battle. Look at the casualties we have sustained. 91% of our allies have died. 100% of theirs 
we're going to. We're going to have to recapture the, uh, the town rally point. There's two units left, and the last one looks to be the general himself, with our general overlooking his body to make sure he is completely finished. Victory and there we go. Is ours, but only by a sword's edge. Literally by a sword's edge. That was incredibly, incredibly close. And it's only going to leave us in a very terrible state right now because there's a massive Byzantine Empire force lurking on the horizon. A lot of troops dead, though. A lot of generals dead as well. The enemy lies defeated. We are victors. The enemy lies defeated, but at what cost? Strength, honor, and victory. Let's sack this settlement. Confused, Sadiq? I am not we could we try and sink this force. Thessalonica, have you got a port built? You have. Let's get a couple of war galleys built. We need the forces of Corinth over the ocean. We need the forces to cross this Aegean Sea and go and reinforce Simnia. Simnia? Simnia? We could take out this force with just a couple of war galleys. I'm pretty sure of it. You want us gone? Then do something about Ooh, We could actually hire some mercenaries. Can we? Oh, we can, we can, we can. Mercenary war galley. There we go. Yes! Yes! And just like that, we have eliminated the threat of a Byzantine reinforcement. Two generals have just been vanquished. Just like that. And now what we can do here is we can just dis disband them. There's Alonica. We're going to keep these anyway, just to make sure that we can reinforce that area with forces in Corinth. But that is a crushing, crushing blow for the Byzantine forces. Diplomat. The following factions are Russia and Denmark are now at war. And the Holy Romans and the Venetians have just declared their allies. That is terrible. Terrible news. I don't like that. If the Venetian... Oh, we may have to actually reinforce our troops in Corinth on the Western Front. Guys, it's not looking great. But on that note, we're going to be leaving it there. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next one.